Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install IntelliJ IDEA. Also, I am going to show you how to run first Java program using it. So, let's start the video. For running Java program, we require JDK. So, first of all, I am going to show you installation of Java JDK and then later I will be showing you installation of IntelliJ IDEA and then I will be running Java program using it. I am going to show you how to install JDK 18. You can open any of your favorite browser and just search for JDK. And here you can see official website oracle.com and just click on Java downloads. Here you can see it is showing Java 18 and Java 17 downloads available. I am going to install Java 18 and you can see here it is showing downloads for Linux, Mac and Windows operating system. I am going to click on Windows and here you can see it is showing you different file type archive x64 installer and msi installer i am going to take msi installer which is of 152 mb let me click on this link and you can see my download has started okay my download is done now i am going to click on this msi let me minimize this browser and now i'll select run and here it is showing me installation wizard so i'm just going to click on this next button and now it is showing me path where my JDK 18 will be installed. So it is going to C colon program files Java JDK 18. If you want to change, you can click on this change button and browse the folder wherever you want to install this JDK 18. I am not changing. I am just clicking on next button. And now it is asking me permission. So I am going to click on this yes button. Okay, you can see it is showing me message that Java SE Development Kit 18 successfully installed for 16-bit machine. So, I am just going to click on close button. Okay, let me open command prompt and check it out whether it is showing me JDK 18 in the version or not. So, I am just going to type Java hyphen hyphen version and then click enter. And here you can see it is showing me Java 18 as well as it is showing me JRE also. Okay, I'll just close this command prompt and now I'm going to set path in environmental variable. So I'll just open environmental variable. So here I'm opening environmental variable and you can see the path variable is already existing. So I'm not going to create a new path variable. Rather, I'm going to click on edit button. And here I'm going to paste path of my JDK bin. So for that, I'll go to C colon program files and then Java and here inside that jdk18 and bin and this path i'm going to copy and paste into my environmental variable path okay i'll go back again to my environmental variable and here i'm going to click on new button and the path which i have copied i'll just paste and then i'll click on ok button so my path is set now i'm going to create one more variable known as java underscore home you can see now my java underscore home is not available so what i'll do i'll just create a new variable java underscore home by clicking on new button and in this i'm going to set the path until jdk not bin so here in path i'm going to paste the same copied path and then i'm going to remove this bin so my path will be until jdk18 and i'm going to click on ok button again ok and finally one more time ok button i will be clicking so my jdk installation is done my path setting is done now i'm going to show you how to install intellij idea so you can open any of your favorite browser and just type intellij and hit enter button and here you can see it is showing me official website that is jetbrains.com. This is official website and you can click on download button for downloading the software. And now here you can see the current release it is showing that is version 2022.1.1. This is the latest version. It is showing me files for different operating system. So mine is Windows. So I am going to take Windows and now we have two categories ultimate and community ultimate is paid one and community is free one 
So definitely I am going to take community version and I am just going to click on this download button. It is going to download exe file for me. So I will just save this exe file on my desktop. So let me just save it. So click on save button and you can see my download has been started. Uh, the file size is around 582 MB so it is going to take a while depending on your internet speed so let's wait for that okay my download is done now I'm going to click on this exe file okay so let me just minimize this browser and here it is asking me do you want to run file yes run and I'll click on run button and again it is asking me permission so I'm going to grant this permission let me click on yes button and now the installation process will start if I click on next button so let me do that and here you can see it is showing me installation folder path so my IntelliJ will be installed in program files folder C colon program files. If you wish to change this location, you can just click on browse button and change the location. This IntelliJ required 2.4 GB of space. Uh, for me, it is perfect. Space is available. So everything looks fine. So I am going to click on next button. Here I am going to check mark on the option create shortcut on desktop. Also, I am going to check mark on create context menu. So on right click I will be getting option as open folder as project. Also I am going to check mark on this that is restart or update the path. So let's click on next button. So now I will click on install button to start the installation process. Okay my installation process has been started so let's wait for a moment. Okay, my installation is done. Now it is asking me to reboot the system. So I am going to select reboot now and I am going to click on finish button. Okay, I have restarted my machine. Now I am going to start my IntelliJ ID ID. So just click on this ID icon. Okay, my ID has been started. Now I am going to create a new Java project. So here I am going to click on new project button. And now you need to provide your project name. So I am just giving project name as hello demo and then here it is showing me the location this is the default location if you want to change you can change it so I'm changing I'm just taking e drive and my folder okay so my project will be saved in this location now here you have to select your programming language so I'm going to create program in Java so I'm not changing this language and this is what build system here you can see JDK and it has selected by default JDK 18 if it is not selected or if you want to add some other JDK you can click on add JDK or if you want to download JDK you can do from here also and now we don't have to click on any advanced setting option so leave this and click on create button okay you can see my project has been created and here some scanning is going on so let this scanning get complete Okay, here you can see it is showing me some experimental feature alert what it is showing me it is showing me that accept the terms so I am going to accept so just click on this accept button okay so now I have to create Java file so for that you need to right click on this SRC and select new Java class and here you have to give your class name so I am giving class name as hello world and just press enter okay it has created a class file you can see the font is very small so I'm going to change it so just go to file menu click on settings and here there is a editor option just click on that and select font option and here you can increase your font so let me make font as 18 and I'm just going to click on apply button as well as ok button okay so you can see the font has been increased now here I'm going to create a main method which is nothing but entry point for Java programs so just type PSVM and press start so you can see main method has been generated now I'm going to type a simple message so here I'm writing s out and after this you can press tab it is going to generate system.out.println line 
So this line is used to print anything in Java on the console and this is the main method which is nothing but entry point. Without this your Java program will not run and whatever you want to do in Java you need to write that inside a class. So my class name is hello world and the access specifier is public and class is a keyword. So here I am going to type a simple message thanks for watching. Okay, now let's run this program. To run this program, we have various options. You can click on this option or you can right click over here and you can select run hello world.main or you can go to src and click on your class name and there also you can select run hello world.main or you can go to run menu and you can select run option. So any option will work. So it is showing me what you want to run. So I'm going to run hello world. So just select that and now it is building my project. Here you can see it is showing me my output that is thanks for watching and you can see it has run my program using JDK 18. This way you can install and run your first Java program using IntelliJ IDEA ID. I hope if you are following my video you are able to successfully install and run your first Java program. Do let me know through comment box whether you are able to run or not. Also if you have any kind of queries you can post in comment box. And if this video has really helped you give thumbs up to this video. Also if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Till that bye bye and take care.